Welcome to this week's edition of the Great American Conference Football Show. With a look back at last week and a preview of this week, here's your host, Michael Westbrook. Welcome into this week's edition of the GAC Rewind. Last week, Southern Nazarene defeated East Central on the road 33-30 to run the team record to 1-1, one one, the first 500 mark since joining Division Two. After the Crimson Storm led for much of the game, East Central took a 30-26 lead late in the fourth. But with just 47 seconds to go, Jacob Spady sealed the Crimson Storm victory. 25 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Jacob Spady shotgun formation, one back to his right. Man in motion, and Spady's going back to pass. Oh, he, he runs up the middle. Could be a quarterback draw to the left side. To the end zone. Touchdown! Crimson Storm! They take the lead with 19 seconds left. Jacob Spady from seven yards out. James Hill on the call. Spady totaled four touchdowns, three in the air and one on the ground, and was named co-offensive player of the week. Arkansas Tech won on the road 26-3 against Henderson State in Arkadelphia. The win was the first since 2009 for the Wonder Boys against the Reddies. Quay Rose totaled six tackles and three interceptions. Here's the third one heard on River Country, KCJC. Black wants to throw deep down the near side. It is intercepted, I believe. A diving attempt made. Will they say he caught it? Two officials converse. It is an interception. Picked off for Arkansas Tech by Quay Rose. It is the third interception of the night for the junior from McGee. Sam Straysner on the call. The three takeaways ties the school and conference record. Rose was named Defensive Player of the Week. Southern Arkansas defeated Harding 35-24 in Magnolia. A strong second-half push of 21 points helped the Mule Riders take down Harding for the first time since 2003. This early fourth-quarter score gave SAU the separation they needed. Trips bunched on the left side. Third and goal at the 16. Renner rolls left. Now throws it back to Tanner Hudson. Gets a good block to the 10, to the 5. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Arkansas. Dan Gregory on the Mule Rider Sports Network. Devondrick Lyson was named special teams player of the week. He picked up a blocked punt in the first quarter for a touchdown. Washita Baptist won on the road in Weatherford 38-10 against Southwestern Oklahoma State. The game was tied at 10 a few minutes into the third quarter, but Washita would score the next four touchdowns. Drew Harris had three rushing touchdowns in the contest, including this fourth quarter score. It is going to be the direct snap. It is going to be Drew Harris, and Drew Harris is going to break out of there to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, 10, 5, 4. Four, three, two, one, promised land, no flags down, touchdown, Washita. Rex Nelson on the Washita Football Network. Arkansas Monticello quarterback Cole Sears was named co-offensive player of the week as he accounted for five Weevil touchdowns in a 37-35 victory against Northwestern Oklahoma State. Monticello dominated time of possession, holding the ball for 40 minutes. Southeastern Oklahoma State won 21-17 in Durant against Oklahoma Baptist. The Savage Storm trailed in the fourth quarter, but a touchdown with 6.09 remaining gave Southeastern the lead for the first time since early on in the first quarter. Oklahoma Baptist did not go away quietly, but ultimately this play ended their chances. 2.59 to play, looking to go for it on fourth down are the Bison. Perhaps the final stanza. Hare rolling out to his left, airs it over the middle, and it's dead down the air. Interception made by Larry Bridges. Jay Lindley on the Southeastern Sports Network. This week in the GAC, Harding at home against Southern Nazarene. Washita at home against Southeastern. Northwestern travels to Henderson. Southwestern at Southern Arkansas. Monticello at home against East Central. And Arkansas Tech host Oklahoma Baptist. I'm Michael Westbrook. This has been the GAC Rewind. Join us again next week on this station and online at greatamericanconference.com. GreatAmericanConference.com is your home for scores, stats, and standings. For additional information, follow on Twitter at GAC Athletics. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Great American Conference.